Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at troubleshooting formulas in Excel. Now we're going to go through a few techniques, a few features provided by Excel to help you troubleshoot your formulas, to give you assistance in writing them or to find out why they have gone wrong. Now we're going to start off with the insert function button. Now a lot of people assume this is for beginners if you know what you're doing you can just write them straight into the cell and you know we shouldn't really think like that you know this will always give you information about each of them arguments everything the function needs and doesn't matter how many years you've done and how good you are you'll need a little bit of help uh, every now and then so if I was writing a function into here as our example on screen I want to use this payment function it calculates the payments on a loan and as I put my opening bracket, we know this little syntax uh, box will pop up, which I can always move out the way, drag it away, and I can use to jump to uh, to different arguments and whatnot. But it's also important because it's prompting me for what I need. And it's telling me these last two uh, are optional because they're in square brackets. This uh, future value and this type. You know, apologies for those who are not familiar with this function. This goal is to look at how we can get help in using it rather than to, to learn the, the function exactly. But as I go through this, <clears throat> it's telling me that the first thing it needs is the interest rate. And I know that I can select the interest rate uh, in cell C4 there, and that's an annual interest rate. So I want to divide it by 12 because so I want monthly payments. Comma, moving on, number of payments. Term multiply it by a uh, by twelve for uh, twelve months of the year. And I'm walking my way through. And maybe I get to present value, and I think, what do they mean by that? I, c I can't remember how how it's got to be put in. At any point in a function, you can always press this little FX, this insert function button next to the formula. And as I click that, it will take me to here and provide me with that little bit more information that I may need. Present value, as I click inside, I'll get the description below telling me that it's present value is the total amount that it's going to be worth now. So I know that my answer is A4. And it will do the same thing to future value, prompting me for what it would mean if omitted, and for type, it's a logical value, and just explains what exactly 1 and what exactly 0 means. You know, we can learn what logical values and stuff mean, but nobody's going to know what it means in that exact scenario until they read these descriptions for the first time. Whether it be through Excel, or whether it be through a blog that you're reading, or a colleague that it's told you. But you, you've got to be told that first time. If you don't remember, we can use these, these windows, these little tools, uh, to remind us, to refresh our memory of it. If it is the first time you're doing this, you also have your link in the corner to get even more help making use of Microsoft help uh, where very good help for functions in my opinion uh, they always give you examples of their use little demonstration sheets can really help you get your head around functions that you haven't used in years or you're you're completely new to okay I'm gonna just click OK to run that through so I can get the answer that's how much we'll be paying every month based on this information and I'm gonna switch across to another sheet which I'm going to use as examples of other tools that you can use working with the idea here that maybe we're getting these answers and we're trying to test that it's only a match if the color is white and the number is 10 or over and for some reason you know, we're not sure why it's got no match for, for whatever reason you know trying to use a simple example of this a couple of key tools to to help us assess what's going on here why we may have an error message or why we've got an answer that I wasn't quite expecting is to come up into this formula bar and one of the key things you can do is we can select elements of a function or the whole function as a whole and we can press the F9 key on our keyboard the F9, the function key F9 uh, stands for manual calculation so that's actually ran that calculation so when we finish, we would probably want to press escape to return to where we were. But it's telling me that that answer is false. 
And if I select B2 to B10, sorry, B2 greater than or equals 10, and F9, it tells me the answer is true. So, black is not white, that is false. Is that 10 or higher? Yes, it is, it is 10. Now, the end function, you know, every test has to be true for the answer to be true. So, I'm going to press that. And it will tell me that the answer is false because one of them is false. And then we know that the if function will look at that and choose no match because that is its value of false option. I'm about to press F9 to see it all the way through, we have that. Now, as I mentioned, if I press enter, it will keep that information out. If I press escape, it will return to where it was. But that F9 key is great for isolating functions, especially in a big nested formula. Uh, or for testing parts of a function, getting your head around what, what's going on, maybe trying to learn it, maybe find out why you have an error message. Now, that's probably my preferred way to use F9. I like the control and that I can isolate what I want. But there is an evaluate formula button on the formulas tab to do pretty much the same thing, but in a more, you know, in, in Excel structured way. And as I click that, it's giving me the opportunity to evaluate and step inside this formula. So in much the same way, it's come straight to the deepest part here and say, right, is A2 equal to white? Well, let's step in. It says, well, the contents for A2 is black. Oh, okay. Step out, evaluate. So what's that mean for the test? It means it's false. Black is not white. It moves across to the next one. Step in. What's in B2? Oh, it's 10. Evaluate the answer. Well, that is true. So you notice how it's doing the same thing here, although with F9, I could have done it in any order. I could have chosen what I wanted. You know, it's, it's my decision to have more control over what I isolate. Well, this evaluate formula is going in the order that the formula runs. Uh, and, yeah, just walking away through, if I evaluate, it now says it's false. If I evaluate, it says it's a no match. And I'm going to close that down. And these are just some really useful tools to try and assess what's going on with the formula Z sheet. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you've got a few more skills to your armory there in troubleshooting your formulas, uh, please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.